This was a tale that you humans had passed down through uncounted generations. Hello everyone and welcome back to Skyward Sword. Last episode we finished out the story and this episode we are going to be showing glitches and show what the new game plus of this game is all about. So let's go ahead and jump on in because I don't want to spend too much time loitering on the title screen. Alright, now here are my... Here's the LP file, and you can see that I chased after Gurham, who abducted Zelda, all that. I did not save after defeating Demise, because that would transfer me straight into New Game Plus. I didn't want to do that, because I wanted to show you guys the playtime. 39 minutes and 57 seconds. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> 35, 39 hours and 57 minutes. That's correct. But that's not quite accurate, because... This is not count, uh, taking count the final episode, so add the time of the final episode, and you will have the final playtime of the LP, so you can compare your 100% runs at home, and have fun seeing how handily you beat me. But what we're going to be going into today is my personal file, which I saved, uh, saved, this whole time, and you can see that there, the symbol of the Triforce is there, that means that this is New Game Plus. Also, you'll see that the Royal Crest is right here in the background behind the heart gauge, so that's also interesting. And we can go ahead and head on in. Uh, my playtime is 144 hours and 31 minutes. That is because uh, your your previous playthrough of the game, the time for that carries on into New Game Plus. So I think I've, I've played through this like three times. So that is why the playtime is so high. Also, I played a ton out of this game, because I waited for this since uh, since they first released the beta art. And actually, I am here. I do not want to be here. I will meet you in Skyloft, then I will, will be where I want to, here. Alright, here is the correct here that I wanted to be. Here is the fantastic here. So, let me tell you about New Game Plus. New Game Plus, when you carry it on to the new game, you now have the ability to skip cutscenes, which I really enjoyed. You can skip cutscenes and certain dialogue. For example, um, some of the tutorial dialogue at the very beginning of the game, you can just skip on right past that with the magical power of the 2 button. However, 2 does not do that here. It's not magical here. And also, your Skyward Strike is the most powerful Skyward Strike in the game. So basically, when you get the Goddess Sword, the Skyward Strike with the Goddess Sword is the Skyward Strike with the True Master Sword in the first playthrough. But, when you get the True Master Sword in, ma in the Hero Mode, it charges up instantly. And I think it's more powerful, though I'm not sure about that. Also, You'll notice, if I jump down here, I'm trying to make some of this information fly by faster. If you'll notice right here, there are no heart flowers. You cannot get hearts normally. If you are carrying a heart potion, you can, but without the heart potion, or not the heart potion, the heart metal, you cannot get hearts normally. So, that is interesting. Also, you take enemies do twice as much damage as they did before, which is also neat. So, not only is, do you take more damage, but you cannot regain hearts the normal way. You cannot get the through hit through hitting grass or breaking pots or uh, or seeing the heart flower. So that is neat. So also, let's see. Are there is there anything else? Oh yes. And it probably sounds like it's a little bit mean that they would just stick you right in the beginning of the game with no real good means to recover health. I mean, potions is the only thing and. Potions are fairly limited. However, when you go into New Game Plus, your bugs and treasures carry over. So if I were to do New Game Plus on the LP file, all of this would carry over. This is one of the reasons why I didn't do New Game Plus with uh, with this LP. I plan to do it. I wanted to do New Game Plus and also a six-heart run of this. However, I decided against it because many of you have not played the games or the game so I decided that I would just do it normally 
and then show off what New Game Plus is afterwards. So I believe that's where the similarities end. I'm actually going to go in here. Now, I know that we're fairly upwards in time because I've been just talking about what New Game Plus is. I want to show you real fast just so I can have someone to show this to. Well, also, you, you'll notice that Beatrice's dialogue is different. That's because I turned her down in this file. So, what I want to show you is, first of all, my odd pouch layout. I have no idea why I arranged it that strangely. While I talk, I will rearrange it. Uh, first of all, you'll notice that I have all of the upgrades of the pouch expansions. And that's, that's called dedication, also a little bit of an obsession. I, not only did I get every single version of every shield, so I have every single upgrade, but I also did that with pouches, which doesn't even matter because they don't show up. They don't look different, really. But these do, so I decided to do that. I plan to do it in the actual LP, though that would, that would add too much time to the total play time, and it would mean a lot more grinding. So I decided against it. Yes, I'm using British terms. All right, um, I'm just rearranging this because I, I need to. Uh, treasure metal go here. I, I'll cut to when I'm done. All right. Now I am back, and now let me just show you my inventory, just so you guys know what I have. I have two heart medals, just so in case I get low on hearts. I'm not going to be doing any fighting this episode. However, I want this because I believe that they will carry over into the lightning round, and that is one of the things I want to do in the bonus video. Also, I have the normal potions and potion medals, so that is neat. Now, the first area we are going to go to to show off... Oh, actually, before I do that... Uh, if there's anything that I missed when explaining what New Game Plus is, I'll put it on screen right now. But also, we're going to go ahead and head on to the Faron region, so I can show you the first of the three glitches I will be showing you today. So, Faron region, away. Also, as we descend into the Faron region, I want to point out how many more bird statues I have on my map, and that is because I checked them all. And so, yeah, if you need to check them in order to land on them, so I just wanted to show that off. Now, where we want to go is Faron Woods Entry. Yes, I want to descend into the area, and that will place us right where we need to go. Now, the first glitch I want to show off today is not really a glitch as much as it is a sequence break. Now, it isn't something the designer intended, but it is not by any means a hole in the code. What you want to do is you want to... See that branch right there? You want to jump onto that branch, uh, from that branch, into the out-of-bounds area. Now, to do this, you can just run on around this way. And I actually, wait, I suggest that you pause the game here, go to the map, and place a beacon right here. That will help you leaps and bounds, because you can see that's on that ledge. That will help you to place your jump when you get over there. Now, let's go ahead and head on up there. I'm going to show this and explain it while we go there. Now, if you if you start one of your game, uh, start a new log, and you reach the Faron Woods area, I'm not sure how much you can skip, and also if the cutscenes will actually activate and you can progress the story, but you can access the Lake Floria area much, much earlier. And what you do is you just go over this wall, and you see that branch right there? All you have to do is jump to the branch. It is actually very hard. Now, you walk as far as you can. That's about far enough. Now, what you do is you look at your map, and you turn around until you're facing uh, directly away from the wall. I am now, uh, if I should move to the left, there we go. Now what I want to do is I want to use the stamina, run backwards, so run towards the camera, and as soon as I jump, I pull out my sword and jump attack. Oh, that was so close. Okay. I am going to... Well, I'm going to try that one once more again on quote-unquote camera. Just so I can... Just so you guys can kind of see the what I'm trying to achieve here. That was worded very strangely. But just trust me. I want, to, I want you guys to know what I'm trying to do. Instead of me just trying something once and then speeding up. I'm going to kill him first. There we go. Just go ahead and jump down this hole. Turn around, head to the left, run all the way over here, and jump at this V. Use the sailcloth. There we go. Now we're at the branch once again. Once again, me doing my English accent, which is probably pretty bad. Now, all the way over here. There we go. 
Turn around, about face. Pause. I'm facing directly away. Press B. Uh, am I facing? No, I'm not. Turn a little bit to the left. Now check the map. Nope, I face a little bit to the right. Uh, let's try this differently. Let's go to do dousing because there we go. It gives us a little zoom. Now that's perfect. Now let us run backwards and do what we do best. Okay, that was really close. How, now I'm going to speed up and play some music as I try to execute this glitch. Enjoy my frustrations. Let me destroy this tree. Yes! Oh yeah, that was that was actually very good. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. This is my second take of the glitches video, so I've had to do this glitch twice. Yeah, I'm dedicated. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I did it, finally. Um, you just reached this out of bounds area and here I am. I am where, the de where no designer has gone before. Now you can walk around up here, which is actually very nice, in fact, how far can you walk? I probably shouldn't be- Yeah, you can walk all around here, so you don't worry. have to worry about that. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay. Ugh. That was scary. Please respawn me. Okay, it did. I, I thought it was not going to respawn me where I should, but yeah, you can fall and explore without fear of it respawning you on the actual path, so feel free to wander, in fact. There's a field over here. Uh, and I believe you can go fairly far. Yeah, look at this. Look, look, look at me. I'm behind the area. Uh, I don't want to be around here because I kind of have a a slight fear of heights in video games. Slight. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you can wander around and it's really nice. But the sequence break. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. The sequence break is all the way up here. You can see that you can actually get to Lake Floria early because normally there is, let me grab my beetle here. There is a log up on this ledge that prevents you from getting to the path to Lake Floria. However, using this sequence break, you can get onto this path early and go to Lake Floria. However, I'm not sure if you can actually skip a portion of the game. It might be that they're, they don't have any unique text. I, I kind of wish that I had the time to do this. However, I don't want to do this. So if you guys if you guys could make a video of you guys doing this, so the first time Link gets to the Faron region, if you guys could do this sequence break, I would be pretty pleased. I would be really happy with you guys. And I wouldn't give out a prize, but I'd be really happy. Now, I have gotten on top of this before and gotten to the other side, but I'm not... I, I kind of want to try to do it now. Okay, I'm trying. I'm gonna try it. Just walk like this. How close am I? There we go. Here I am. Okay. Yeah, you can reach the other side and you can wander around on this side. It's it's kind of fun. It's, it's pretty fun. You know, you can get past the uh, map transition. So what you can do is, whoa, what you can do is once you're past the map, the map transition, you can jump onto the path and then actually walk up the path in order to hit the map transition and you'll turn around and walk the other way, which is 
fun. So, this is a really cool glitch. This is probably one of my favorite glitches of the game, just because it's it's thinking outside the box, and I don't think I can get back up here, can I? No, I can't. Oh, wait. Wait. Why am I even doing this? I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm kind of wasting your time, but I really want to try this. Oh, okay, never mind. That That's it for the glitch. <laughs> now, the other area you want to go to, it is also in the Pharaon region, and the, this is one of the three glitches I'm showing today. I will be going to uh, Skyview Temple, so I will meet you there for the second glitch. All right, here I am. Now, this is where I'm actually going to be wrapping up the video. However, we have quite a bit to do here. In, uh, indirectly, we do. So, what you want to do is to uh, to access this glitch. Well, actually, first, let me give you some backstory. You know this, this area behind this fence? When I first played through this game, I really wanted to get back there. Like, really badly, because it's kind of pretty over there. And I kind of wish that I could. And actually, you can. If you claw shot up to these vines, drop down, and go to the far left of this area of vines, t take your claw shot, and claw shot to the far right part of those vines. Like so. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to give it three tries, and then I'm going to cut to when I do it successfully. What should happen is you should phase through the wall. And you should phase through the wall and fall onto the ground below this rock area. So you'll be on ground that shouldn't exist. So one more try, and then I will I will speed up. Nope, okay, let me speed up, and I will show you me doing it correctly. All right, here, here goes. Here we are. Okay, actually, that only took a couple of tries. So, you can see that we are on a gigantic field, and you can also see that this is see-through. Which is neat. Yay for us. It, we see a see-through staircase. How often do you see that? Probably not that, that often. So, what you can do is... You can get to the other side. What I always wanted to do. And you cannot phase through this because this is actually a solid object. So, you can get to the other side and let's continue on like I have always wanted to do. You can just run around here and you can see some pretty stuff. Oh, and also, you can fall to your death. But... That, that goes with exploring new areas. So yeah, you can access this field, and it's actually really, really neat. And also, how do I get through here? Ah, here we go. There we go. And you can just run around here for not ever, but this is one of the biggest field, fields in the game. So you can run around here for a long time. Very neat. Also, real quick, beetle. And yes, the beetle does work in here. So if you want to see the... the uh, if you want to see behind Skyview Temple, like I'm doing now, turn around, and there we go. I believe that the beetle... Oh, my... Uh, that startled me. Oh, that startled me, too. <laughs> that shadow scar startled me. So, that is very, very, very neat. Now, there's one more glitch I would like to show. The other, uh, There are a couple others that I'd like to describe. In fact, I'll, I will show another one, but... I'm going to show a glitch that occurs when you, well, instead of explaining it myself, let me, let me let Past Paladin explain it. Past Paladin, take it away. So, this is one of the many glitches in the game. Now, just to give you some backstory, because I do not, well, on when I'm recording this and, and such, I'm recording this after the, um, the show all episode 59 where we showed basically all of the people in skyloft what they say what they do so yeah if i i don't know the order in which this is going to be in the glitches video so yeah i will be describing this with some ignorance so what you want to do is after getting the uh stone of trials you want to select silent realms and then you want to go into the Skyloft one. 
Yes, and... Yes, that's fine. I'm up to the challenge. Now, we can go into somewhere else. Somewhere else. And we can go to Skyloft. However, I am going to save before we do this, because... Just so you know, this... I'm not sure if it corrupts your save file, or glitches it entirely. I'm not sure. So therefore... I am going to copy my save file over because I still have however many episodes to record till the end. So, I will be right back because I'm going to save. Just one moment. Okay, here it is. Now, we don't care about time, so let's go ahead and just run out here and grab the tier so that we can go to our actual destination. Okay, let's grab this and continue on our way. We don't care about time. Just as long as we're not being chased, that's fine. Now, you're probably guessing what I'm doing. Now, since this is before I set the Stone of Trials in the bird statue... Whoa, almost jumped into him. Because this is before I set the, statue, the stone in the statue, I still have it in my possession. So, what I can do is place it in the statue in the Silent Realm. Now, disclaimer. You can see I can examine this. Disclaimer. I know this glitches the game, but I don't know whether or not it it makes your save file uh, permanently corrupted, or whether it corrupts your game, in which I am in big trouble because, you know, I'm not done recording the LP at this point. But, whew, let's see. Examine. <laughs> it froze the game. Yes, it freezes the game. So, let's reset the Wii, shall we? And let's see exactly how badly this messed it up. Reset. Oh, snap. Um... I'll leave this up to future me to describe the damages to my Wii. Just one moment. So, there you have it. It did not actually damage my save file. I reset my Wii and it, it just simply brought me to the last save. So it actually doesn't corrupt your save file, so you can do it with relative safety as long as you save beforehand. Which is really neat. So, there's going to be one more glitch I'm going to show. It's going. It's a small one. What you do is this leads to a bunch of sequence breaks within the game. What you do, this is it. You set down a, a thi an item, and then you have, I think, a one-frame buffer to input a backflip. And if you don't do that, you can't do it. So, I'm just trying to do it. And your backflip will be much, much higher than normal. That was not it. There we go. That's how you do it. You saw you saw how high that was? Let me see if I can do it again. Alright, I'm not able to do it again, but instead I'll just do a replay of that bomb backflip. There we go. Now, what I'd like to go over now is a game-breaking glitch in Skyward Sword. What you do is... This was our, Nintendo knows about this glitch as well, and they released a patch for, for it shortly after the game came out. What ha what you happen what ugh, what you what you happen? Wow, that was a that was the ma a major stutter. What happens is sheesh, I can't talk. Is when you uh, reach the the song of the hero quest part of the game, where you have to see all three dragons and get their part of the song of the hero. If you go to the Thunder Dragon's quest line first, before any any of the others, and what you do is you talk to Golo, that Goron that you see at, at the entrance of the area that leads to Laneru Gorge. You see Golo, Gorko's assistant, and you talk to him. He'll talk to you about donate you donating something to him, and he'll give you like 50 rupees. But if you talk to him after completing... Laneru's quest arc, what will happen is he will congratulate you on your find, congratulate you for finding the elusive Thunder Dragon. 
And then, what will happen next is very bad. When you go to F the Faron region or the Elden region after, do after that, the their quests will not initiate. For, exa for example, upon talking to Golo, if you go to F the Faron region, it will not be flooded. Nothing will be different, and thus you cannot progress in the game in the Faron region. Same with Elden. You'll just land there normally instead of being whisked away by that volcanic breeze. Your items won't be stolen, and you can't progress. So Nintendo found out about this, because a lot of people were angry, and what they, Nintendo did was they released a patch on the Nintendo eShop for the Wii. I believe it's on... No, wait, no, never mind. I was going to say it's on the Wii U as well, but that's... Never mind. Forget I said that. And what, ha what it does is it will patch the save file that was corrupted by that glitch. So even if you talk to Golo and initiate the game-breaking game glitch, then you can avoid that by just... No, you can't avoid it, but it'll fix that save by using the patch. Does that make sense? Hopefully it did. Now, there are a bunch of other glitches in the game, things like playing on the title screen to uh, just normal just sequence breaks, but I'm not going to be covering these because I want to cover the ones that you can do with one save file. I don't want to do the ones where you can play on the title screen because those are really complicated, and I believe that they have some risks that I don't want to take. So I won't be showing those. I'll be just show the cool ones. So I believe those are all of them. And this video is over. I've shown four glitches and talked about a fifth one. So I am happy, very happy with this video. And that is it. Now, if there's a glitch that I cut that I didn't cover that exists, I'll actually put a link in t in the description of this video that will lead you to the Skyward Sword Wikipedia page. And they show a lot of the glitches of the game. They don't show all of them. The the sequence break that I did, where you can get to Lake Floria early, I do not believe that that is on that page. However, it is a very informative page, and it'll lead you to like some YouTube channels that I believe do glitches, so you can see those. So, that is it for this video. And next video, next episode, I will be covering the Thunder Dragon's Silent Realm Challenge. And then, after that, I will be covering the lightning round once again in the hero mode it has 12 all 12 bosses of the game except bilocyte which i'm a little bit upset about that you cannot fight bilocyte again you can only fight him one time in the game so relish the time that you can or just save at that point make a new save file and you, you can fight him unlimited times whatever you want but we're going to be fighting 12 bosses in a row and then i can show off the last three rewards that i wasn't able to show in the lp and, yeah, I think that's a good way to wrap up the LP, by doing all of the bosses. And then, I can focus on making the next LP. Pikmin is almost done. If it isn't done already, it should be wrapping up. So, yeah, I will be seeing you for two more episodes, and then the next LP will initiate soon. So, I'll see you again for another Pal Plays Skyward Sword. Bye now.